What's going on guys? My name is Ted, bringing you all a review for the top three attachments for your Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, I've currently had this device for about three months now since it got released in June, and um, I'm super, super pleased with the device, but there's a lot of attachments to this device that can make it a much better device. So let's get into the first one, guys. Uh, the first and most important aspect of your phone is the battery life. Uh, it being so thin, they really tried to cut down on the battery life by only giving you 2100 milliamp hour battery. And uh, if you see in here, very, very small battery. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out. And you can see that it's only 2100 milliamp hours, and it's so small because they're trying to keep the thickness of the phone down. Um, for me personally, I don't care about how thick my phone is, so I like to go with the double battery. And um, this is something that's available by, by Hyperion and Oracle. Um, I've got two different types. You can see right here, I've got the this is the Hyperion battery and this is the Oracle battery and um, both of them are very very good batteries but let's go ahead and show you the actual thickness when you add the battery in. So that's how thick the phone is going to be with the battery in and they ship you with um, these custom backs as well if you like um, Pebble Blue if you have the Pebble Blue phone they have that back as well they give you both of them inside the case and um, if you snap it in it just takes two seconds to change your battery um, once again if you want to say you even run out of battery on that you just change it you just put in the other battery and um, and it just snaps right back on. It literally takes you 10 seconds to change the battery and then um, pop, pop back on the case. And um, it does add a little bit of thickness to your phone. You can see it there, how thick the phone is now. Um, I'd say it adds um, probably about five millimeters to the, the thickness of your phone, but it gives you double battery. It improves it from 2100 milliamp hours to 4200 milliamp hours. And um, that's for the American versions. For the international versions, I think it actually gives you, um, it bumps it up from 2250 up to 4500. So they do have one for the, American, for the international versions as well. And it's very, very important to make sure that you have a, a lot of battery. That way I can keep on whatever programs I want, live ba live backgrounds, everything like that I can have in the running in the background and I never run out of battery life. It's really, really neat. Moving on to the next thing about your phone is the SD card. So a lot of people just run with the, they'll pay the extra $50 or whatever to upgrade uh, the memory to 32 gigabytes. And that's cool and all and you get a lot of phone storage. But the little magic device called the SD card is so, so cool. The micro SD card can hold up to 64 gigabytes. As you can see, mine's running 32. Um, it's just to save money. Um, the 64 gigabyte micro SD cards give you 64 gigabytes of memory. That's more space than you could ever use, I, I, at least in my opinion, on a phone. You just have a lot of photos or videos or a lot of music to get up to 64 gigabytes of space. And um, 32 gigs is just all I need. It cost me $30 for a class 10. And a class 10 micro SD card reads and writes at almost one megabyte per second. So you can get that HD recording uh, on your micro SD card and it won't lag or drop some frames. It'll record just as fast as you can uh, record it with your device. Um, so let's go ahead and put that back in. This way, when I turn on my device, I have 48 gigabytes of internal storage, um, 32 on my SD card and 16 on my phone, which is just the stock amount for the Galaxy S3. Let's go and put the battery back on. And, um, and show you all guys the last attachment. So one more thing that I like too before I move on to the last one is um, with these cases, uh, the people that I bought it from, Hyperion, I prefer Hyperion more, um, they actually have custom backs for the case. If you look up there, if I hold it up, it's got a nice honeycomb back to it. Uh, it feels really nice, the texture of it's really nice. And you put it on your phone, it is a tight fit. Let's see if I can get it on right here before I press every single button. Um, it is a tight fit, but it makes the phone look really, really cool. Uh, I like the back to it. I, I, I like the black and white textures. Um, if you have Pebble Blue, it looks it looks really cool as well. Um, I've got the Pebble Blue back, so I could do that as well. But um, just in general, the case looks nice. It feels a lot sturdier, and I, I like the extra weight in my hands. I think it feels really, really nice. Um, and just in general, it, it just looks like a great device with the case on it, and gives you a little bit of added protection as well. One final attachment for your phone, which is really, really cheap, is a screen protector. And um, these things are very underrated in my opinion. People always say, you know, oh, the Corning glass on the screen or the Gorilla Glass 2 on the screen, whatever advice you have, people say it's good enough. And I agree with you. I think that the glass is really, really scratch, scratch resistant. It's really, really good. Um, most objects will not scratch it. But one time I just, I was had my last phone and it had the same type of glass that this phone does. And I just, I was hopping over a pile of concrete blocks and my phone got on it and scratched the living crap out of the front of my phone. And um, if I had had screen protector, that wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have had that scratch on my phone. Instead, I just would have really scratched up the screen protector, but you get like six in a pack. So it's a really good spy. For only $3, you can really protect the front of your phone. And um, this one in particular, this uh, Tech Armor screen protector, they don't have it so that you get a lot of glare. I've had some where my fingerprints show up too much or I have just too much glare on the device. Um, with this one, you really don't have that. It slides on really easy. In fact, they even give you a like a squeegee to, to get out all the air bubbles. They really come with everything you could possibly want. Um, they give you a squeegee right here as well as a um, as well as this thing to clean off your screen, a little felt thing to clean off your screen first. 
Um, and I'm not being endorsed by these people, I'm just giving you an honest review. I've looked up a lot of screen protectors, um, a lot of extended batteries, and Hyperion's my personal favorite. Um, I'll do a close-up right there so you can see it, see the thickness of it right there. Um, and that's about it, guys, as far as 3 bus attachments. Once again, you got the micro SD card, which is um, gives you extra internal storage. It's just really nice, and you don't have to pay so much money to upgrade your internal storage through them. Um, it costs them, like, they'll charge you, like, $50 if you buy it from the store, like T-Mobile or whatever, to give you a 32 gigabyte built-in storage. Whereas this one, you can get 16 by default and an extra 32 for half the price. So you get more storage for half the price. I think that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Um, and that's that. You get the case as well with the extended battery. You can really juice up your phone and have a powerful device that will last you a long, long time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you have some other attachments that you like. Leave them down below. I'm interested in all kinds of fancy attachments. I'll do more reviews and I'll buy more products if I hear that there's something else out there that maybe I've missed. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. I'll leave links to where you can buy these products down below in the description. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.